Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I know I've been gone for like a long time, and I haven't been uploading, and so I'm making a return today, so yeah, so let's write, so let's get back on to 2020 Atlantic Hurricane season, so I, a lot has been going on since I've been gone, um, this coronavirus stuff, like the cases, so before I even start this video, I just want to tell all my subscribers to be safe during the coronavirus and wash your hands and put on masks when like you're going outside and just stay at home unless it's very important, like if you just want to go outside and play, um, that's not very important, so I just suggest you stay inside, and let's get back to the video. So, in my previous videos, like two videos ago, I had um, a 2020 um, prediction for landfall. Now I'm doing a forecast. So, the first forecast for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season was December 19, 2019, which has... 15 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 4 majors. That is just one her just like one sh one name storm short short and hurricane short from 2018 which I believe 2018 had 16 8 3 2 1682, yeah. So, and that was the TSR prediction. Now, the S, I mean, no, the CSU prediction, which was released April 2nd, 2020, it predicts 16 named storms, 8 hurricanes, and 4 majors. Now, the majors stay the same, but the named storms and hurricanes got higher just by one. So, it is supposed to be an active year. So, yeah, so the storm names for the 2020 Atlantic Hurricane season is Arthur, Bertha, Cristobal, Dolly, Edward, Faye, Gonzalo, Hannah, Isaias, Josephine, Kai, Kyle, Lara, Marco, Nana, Omar, Paulette, Renee, Sally, Teddy, Vicky, and Wilford. So, no storm has formed. And, yes, while I'm gone, I do look at weather, but I just do not post. So, I did see on the GFS model a couple of days ago that they were showing a subtropical storm forming, which could have been Arthur, which Weather Hub made a video on it. So, yeah. And, so I made um, a forecast, what I think is going to happen in the... 2020 Atlantic hurricane season so what I predict is 17 named storms which I do not agree with 15 or 16 because there's a possible La Nina in the fall but we'll get that to that later um eight hurricanes I agree with that and four named storms I and four majors oh my gosh so yeah I agree with the hurricanes and majors but I just I think there's going to be 17 instead of 16 this time. But this year we could actually see possibly a bit more short-lived storms like we did in the past few years. So, yeah. So, we are going to get into El Nino and La Nina. So, I took a couple screenshots to compare the two. So, El Nino, which was like 2018 like the summer of 2018 is basically when the pacific gets more storms due to less wind shear and more wind shear comes over here than over here and it's warm and wet down here so it could like increase the activity of hurricanes like in 2018 like in 2018 over here then over there la nina is fewer storms 
in the Pacific and is cool and dry and more storms due to less wind shear. So this La Nina could possibly happen in 2020. And yeah, guys, that is it for the 2020 Atlantic Hurricane forecast. And I hope you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and bye.